Meat is a common food choice for many people, and it can provide important nutrients like proteins, vitamins, and minerals. While we all enjoy our juicy burgers, tasty steaks, and delicious hot dogs, there are certain types of meat that should remain far, far away from your food plate. So in today's video, let's learn about some of the unhealthiest types of meat you should never eat. Number 1. Grain-Fed Meat When we talk about beef meat, the way cattle are raised can have a big impact on the nutritional value of the beef. For example, grain-fed beef comes from cattle that are mostly fed grains like corn and soybeans. This is mainly done to make them fat and bulky, which later becomes a problem because they end up having the least number of nutrients and too much fat and cholesterol in their meat. So eating that kind of meat won't give you all the good stuff your body needs. Not just that, grain-fed cattle are also often injected with growth hormones and certain antibiotics. Growth hormones make them grow faster, and antibiotics are used to prevent infections and diseases in them. The effect of both these things can also reside in grain-fed meat to some extent, so it's best to avoid eating this kind of meat. So what's the better kind of meat? It's grass-fed meat. This kind of meat comes from cattle that mostly eat grass, similar to what they would eat in the wild. Grass-fed meat can be very healthy for us because it has more of these healthy fats called omega-3 fatty acids and many essential vitamins like vitamin B12. It's healthier for us and has more of the good stuff our bodies need. Before we move on, Please take a moment to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon. If you find our videos helpful, please support us by becoming a patron. Number 2. Processed Meat Processed meats are meats that have been chemically treated to make them last longer or have an enhanced taste. One problem with processed meats is that they often have too much salt added to them. Eating too much salt can contribute to high blood pressure, heart disease, bad kidney health, and many other health issues. They also contain nitrites and nitrates, which are used to prevent them from decaying and to give them an appealing, vibrant color. And surprisingly, some studies show that they are linked to heart disease and many types of cancers. So always be careful with the amount of processed meats you are eating. And always choose fresh, unprocessed, lean varieties of meat. Number 3. Factory Farm Chicken In factory farms, the chickens usually don't have a lot of space to move around, and they have to live very close to each other. The conditions they live in are not very clean or healthy. Plus, they may not have access to fresh air or sunlight, which can affect their health. Additionally, just like farm cattle, poultry farmers often give them antibiotics to prevent them from getting sick and growth hormones to make them grow faster. The effects of these chemicals also reside in their meat to some extent, so when we eat factory farm chicken, these chemicals can get into our bodies, which can be risky for our overall health. So it's a good idea to choose organic or pasture-raised chicken instead. Organic or pasture-raised chicken usually feed from organic and natural foods, which makes them much healthier than farm chicken. Number 4. Farm Salmon When it comes to farm salmon, there are a few things to keep in mind. First, Farmed salmon may have higher levels of contaminants compared to the ones caught in the wild. These contaminants include polychlorinated biphenyls and dioxins, which can deposit in their meat. Moreover, due to overcrowded and unhygienic conditions, these fish may also contain different types of parasites, disease-causing bacteria and sea lice. Another thing to know is that synthetic dyes are sometimes used in the feed given to farmed salmon. These dyes are used to make the salmon look more pink or orange so that they may look fresh for a long time. These dyes can not only become a part of these fish, but can also decrease their nutritional value. So if you want to make a healthier choice, always opt for wild-caught or freshwater salmon. Wild-caught salmon typically contains the natural nutrients and colors that come from its natural diet and environment. Number 5. Cured and Smoked Meat it's important to know that cured and smoked meats often contain harmful chemicals like polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons and heterocyclic amines. These chemicals can be very toxic for your body, especially for your liver, mainly because it has to process and eliminate these chemicals. So consuming them too much and too often can cause inflammation in your body 
and can even increase your risk of developing cancers. To avoid these potential health risks, try to enjoy them in small quantities and balance them with healthier food choices. Number 6. High Mercury Fish Some types of fish, like sharks, swordfish, and king mackerel, often contain higher levels of mercury. Now mercury is a toxic metal that can be harmful to our body, including our liver and our nervous system. That's especially important for pregnant women, fetuses, and growing kids as their bodies are still developing. But don't worry, there's a solution. Freshwater fish like salmon, trout, and sardines are usually mercury-free or have the least amounts of mercury. They're not only tasty but also good for your health. Number 7. Undercooked or Overcooked Meats Another unhealthy kind of meat that you should never eat is raw, undercooked, or overcooked meat. Those juicy steaks or raw seafood dishes may seem quite tempting, but they can actually contain harmful bacteria that can make us sick. For example, undercooked beef, pork, or chicken may contain harmful bacteria like Salmonella, E. coli, Campylobacter, and Listeria. These bacteria can cause food poisoning, stomach problems, and vomiting, which can sometimes be very serious. However, cooking meat thoroughly kills most of these bad bacteria, making the meat safe to eat. But wait, don't cook them too much and too long, especially at high temperatures. When meat is cooked at high temperatures for a long time, certain compounds like heterocyclicamines and polycyclic aromatic hydrocarbons can form. And as we mentioned earlier, these compounds are potential carcinogens. However, properly cooking them without making them look black or charred can significantly reduce their health risks. So what's the optimal temperature to cook meat? See these guidelines. For chicken breasts, thighs, and wings, aim for an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit or 74 degrees Celsius. For burgers, meatballs, sausages, and ground meat dishes, cook until the internal temperature reaches 160 degrees Fahrenheit or 71 degrees Celsius. Ensure that the meat is no longer pink in the center. For roasted meats or steaks, like beef steaks, lamb steaks, or pork steaks, the USDA recommends cooking to a minimum internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. This will give you a medium rare steak. You can also adjust the cooking time for your desired taste and color. And lastly, for fish, cook it until it reaches an internal temperature of 145 degrees Fahrenheit or 63 degrees Celsius. Ensure that the flesh becomes soft enough and flakes easily with a fork. Number 8. Canned Meat Canned meats are highly processed, which means they go through a lot of steps in those machines before ending up in that can. Unfortunately, during this process, they often get loaded with preservatives and additives. These not-so-great ingredients help them last longer on the shelf, but they aren't exactly the best for our bodies. One harmful thing about canned meats is that they often contain unhealthy fats. These saturated fats or trans fats can not only make you gain weight, but can also increase the risk of developing fatty liver disease, high blood pressure, heart disease, and strokes. So try to avoid them as much as you can. Now, we aren't saying you should never have canned meats. They can be convenient from time to time. But it's important to be mindful of how often you have them. Opting for fresh and lean varieties of grass-fed meat is undoubtedly a healthier choice. Thank you for watching and subscribing to the channel. See you in the next video.